Alright, back to working on this thing. Been off for like at least a week now. And I've been here for maybe about three and a half, four hours working. I dropped the subframe. And that was a pain. It didn't mention anything about those. That's uh, that screw right there and there's another one on the other side. It seemed to be holding it up, but I'm not really sure. I took them off anyway. Uh, I took the bolts out all the way. And then I put them back in, like maybe two turns on all of them. So that when the subframe disconnected, it fell on the bolts. And then I used the jack stands. Just kind of walked it down in three different spots. It looked a lot heavier than what it was, but it wasn't light, I'll give you that. Uh, Remove the rear transmission mount first before that, then uh, the subframe. And you're supposed to mark the front ones as well as the rear. And the, the subframe was literally just stuck there. Uh, and I yanked on it a couple times and it fell down onto the bolts and onto the jack stands. Uh, disconnected everything to the transmission and the motor mount and the uh, engine. And Hold the transmission out so the transmission is finally out. Uh, I marked on the flywheel something. I noticed a piece of plastic on the ground when I um, moved the transmission out of the way, and somehow this was disconnected, but somehow it caught on something. And don't know. I tried to put it up here and I should have just stuck it up like this. Uh, but it broke. And that's the, uh, the little uh, piece that you need to touch in order to disconnect it. So I'm going to have to get another one of those. Otherwise I really don't know how you're going to disconnect that unless you maybe stick a screwdriver in there or something. I don't know. But yeah, I suppose you could do that, because that's it right there. But all you have to do is just take pliers, pull this thing apart, and uh, these things come out easily, so I'll just get another one. Oh. The flywheel's been marked. Uh, you can kind of see the three stripes at the bottom. Two over there, and one up there. And that's just in case for some reason this uh, clutch has still got enough material on it I'm gonna have to measure it uh, it gives the uh, the total amount of the minimum thickness and then what the thickness should be when you first uh, have it uh, a new clutch so I'll measure this afterwards and I'll get crisscross pattern I'm gonna loosen these little by little uh, what kind of markings do we have on here? Uh, made in the USA. Well now, I can tell you, that's not the original clutch. I wouldn't think. I can't really see what that reads. D-A-I-K-I-N? I'll have to look that up. Look it up on Majestic Honda. But I suspect that they did not use clutches. Uh, a lot of wear on the uh, fingers where the throw out bearing contacts. Don't think that is, uh, uh, I don't think that's acceptable. But you see the three stripes there because the light is just kind of washing it. But we're going to take it off and inspect it and do some research. So that's where we're at right now.